All right, bear with me. This is gonna there's gonna be a lot of windows open uh, because I just had to blank out some of the information, and this is the only way I have to make the video right now. So, um, this is Dragon OS Focal R3. I haven't uploaded it yet, uh, but it's got some updates to uh, quite a bit of the software. Big big things are uh, Crocodile Hunter, uh, you know, is fixed to run with the Lime SDR, uh, so you can use that for your uh, 4G LTE. And then uh, GSM Evil 2 is in here, and uh, there was been some questions about that. So that's what this is just going to focus on the GSM aspect and uh, GSM Evil 2. And you can kind of see how it works compares to, to the MZ Catcher script. So right now, there's a Lime SDR plugged in and uh, freshly installed Dragon OS Focal R3, which I'll get uploaded here. Uh, what I've done is use the GR. GSM scanner. We can see its options here. This is built in. It's uh, using GNU Radio uh, 3.8. Uh, I didn't change anything with the Lime SDR. Um, unlike uh, the HackRF and the RTL SDR, and I'll I'll probably be able to show uh, several devices um, in this same video. Uh, but for the Hacker, or I'm sorry, for the Lime SDR. I didn't change anything, I let it use the UHD soaping. So you'll see just like uh, I've got over here, actually I've got it right here. So what I ran was GRGSM scanner, the band, and then I did a dash V and a dash D for verbose and debug just so that you can see how the Lime SDR started up. You can see it in the background here and within the first few seconds it found um, an arson, a frequency, uh, sell all that info all that identifying information, but all I needed was the frequency Okay, once you get that frequency then you can use GRGSM live mon. Let's take a look at the options there as well You see it looks very similar. Uh, I'm not going to change everything except for the frequency which is 1934 uh, megahertz just like that That's all I'm going to do You'll see again, starting up the Lime SDR Mini. And there we go. You're looking for this information here uh, being populated. Um, should be a consistent flow there. Um, once you've got that, open up another terminal window, change to our user source directory, or I've put pretty much everything that is uh, installed by hand that I've put in here. And I've mentioned the MZ Catcher script before. I'm just going to kind of refresh everyone on this. So you'd run, uh, yeah, sudo python3, simple MZ Catcher, dash dash sniff. You hit enter, that's going to get you uh, the information that you're looking for. Uh, because I don't have a good way to blur all that out right now, I'm not going to run it. I'm going to run instead in the user source GSM Evil. Some... Uh, oh, it'll help. GSM Evil 2, sorry. So in the GSM Evil 2 folder. Uh, okay. Alright, first time you run it you'll be fine. But I've ran it once before, so what I found is, is there's an error that happens when the database um, already has information in it, you open the web page, uh, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't work right. So uh, I'll have to put that on the GitHub page about that. So f just to show you how this works, I'll just remove the mz.database.db and We'll pretend it's the first time running, so you do sudo python3, gsm evil. You can take a look at the options with it, but I'm not going to change anything. So you want to see this. That means you've got it running on um, port 80, local host 0.0.0, .0, .0 127. Now, once this is running and we turn this on, you'll also see uh, information flowing in this page here but I'm gonna put this in front of that I'll click on the MZ sniffer and the only thing that this doesn't get that the MZ catcher script gets I think is the provider so 
I'm going to uncheck all these so that I'm not showing this information but you can still see that it's gonna work or that it does work uh, SMS that's a whole different story um, I'm sure there's uh, maybe some situations maybe where that works but most of it's probably encrypted so I can't imagine it's gonna do much anything but the MZ sniffer you see we'll turn this on and I'll leave it uh, set a second here and you'll see there you go so if I had all this uh, turned on you would be seeing that information uh, I'll let it run for a few more here um, generally it, uh, it it fills up pretty fast There you go. So, uh, I guess the nice thing about this is it's in this uh, web uh, view like this, and then it's being put in, uh, or you know, being put in the database. It's just the problem I found is if I stop it and then run it again, it's going to error out. So I just delete or rename that DB and start it fresh, and I've had no problem um, getting everything that it says here. Okay, so. Let's see, um, just so that I don't reveal any information here, I'm going to try, I think this will work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the Lime SDR here. That may have killed the window in the background, but we'll find out. So Lime SDR done. We'll move it out of the way. We've got the HackRF. HackRF has same style antenna. Let's see. Okay, HackRF is plugged in. So we would do the same thing, same frequency, but we'll do args equals, or let's see, I think you can do it just like this, HackRF. That way it's using um, the HackRF uh, firmware. You might find, let's see. We might, okay, so what we might have to do is, let's see. Let's try. It might be maybe something to do with the game. Let's see. Or it might be. Let's see. Okay. There we go. So now the HackRF is running. I don't know if it had something to do with the game or the fact that I'm holding it up now with a better um, line of sight to the window. But you can see, same thing same thing you would go uh, let's see yeah okay so it's still so it's still running in the background once I kicked off uh, GRGSM the other um, GSM evil in the background is just uh, picking up where it left off on that port and parsing uh, and looking at the information so that's the hack RF and Last but not least, we'll take a look at the Blade RF. And what we might have to do here, let me see, let's specify Blade RF. Let's try this. I'll take the gain off. Okay, so it's loading up, and there we go. So that's how easy it is. Um, that's the Blade RF. It's uh, closest to the window, um, has good line of sight, and so you can see that it is still uh, pulling in um, what it what it needs to. Uh, yeah. So there's three different um, devices. 
honestly, probably the most cost efficient, effective would be the Lime SDR Mini. At uh, I think it's like I think it's less than two hundred dollars, and then the associated antennas. And this is all built into uh, Dragon OS Focal, uh, specifically. Uh, what you're seeing right now is the R3 build, which I need to get around to uploading. All right, so hopefully this will uh, just kind of show that this program uh, does work. And then, you know, you could also use the MZ Catcher script. And, yeah, I'll probably do a separate video showing the Lime SDR with the Crocodile Hunter. All right. Thank you.